Well, those two men were working on the roof of this home behind me here at the corner of East 4th and Harbine when they were struck by lightning earlier this evening. Tonight, they are recovering at the hospital, and authorities say they are very lucky to be alive. That was a mind shock, and I thought he was dead. Taylor Jenkins lives nearby and ran outside to tell the two men who were renovating this vacant home at 3101 East 4th Street that a storm was about to hit. I came out from my front porch, and uh, it was pouring rain, and we were screaming and telling them to get off the roof. And they went and I guess they didn't hear us or they wasn't listening. And dude was on the front of the roof and all you heard was this big explosion. He says what he saw next will stay with him the rest of his life. It hit one of the dudes and the other dude was in the other corner and it hit both of them. The one fell off onto like the little roof and fell down into the grass and they pulled him over onto the sidewalk. And it was bad. He was bleeding. It was just terrible. Jenkins helped work on the same home Friday. He says he's lucky he wasn't up there when the lightning struck and he will be extra cautious in the future. If I'm ever up on a roof and it starts sprinkling, I'm getting off the roof. And firefighters also have a warning for people. In a severe lightning storm, uh, get off the roofs immediately. Don't worry about the water damage. Uh, pretty much protect yourself. Now, there was a small fire in the attic, but firefighters were able to put that out quickly. Those two men who were struck by lightning were taken to Miami Valley Hospital. Police say they are expected to be okay. So, some good news tonight. Reporting live in Dayton, Jackie Sprague, 2 News.